everybody and welcome back again to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We are still here at the Helios 1 power plant and we are now trying to repair it because this idiot over here is obviously not going to do it. So let's have a quick look at um, our quest. Connect the Helios 1 mainframe from the Eastern Reflector Control Terminal and the Western Reflector. Okay. And apparently that's right over here on the outside so yeah let's Hello. go and have a look at this and yeah here we go these are our reflectors huh and yep there's like a tower in the center so I was right and this is a solar thermal power plant which means that you just have mirrors to bundle the sunlight in one spot, like on the tower, producing a lot of heat, and then there's water in the tower, and the heat makes the water evaporate, and then you can use the steam to power a steam engine or turbine. So that's how you produce electricity. So this is not like photovoltaic, this is just mirrors. Um, and that actually explains why that one experiment was called Archimedes, because um, allegedly Archimedes used like a burning glass to set attacking uh, ships on fire. So basically the same concept of bundling the sunlight in one spot to produce a lot of heat. So I guess that Archimedes test was actually some kind of attempt to weaponize this power plant by using like a concentrated sunbeam to, you know, attack someone. That would explain the name. Anyway, um, let's have a look. So, I guess these are our two deflectors. One of them is actually right over here. Okay. How do I get inside? That's the question. Oh, wow. Well, you look at this over here. Bear traps? Who in the hell puts bear traps here? Well, let's get rid of them. As a matter of fact, I believe there's like a tripwire too. Um, Arcade is far enough away, so he's hopefully not going to jump into that. Okay, I can activate the tripwire from here. There we go. <laughs> I guess these are these security measures they've been talking about. As a matter of fact, I'm seeing mines over there. Look at that. Um, yeah, let's let's be careful here. Uh, Kate, you're going to wait here. Okay. Just don't be gone long. I sunburn easily. I just have to disable these uh, mines. You would think that Edie can't trigger the mines since he's floating. I will very carefully approach them. Oh no 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 no! That was a little bit too close. Okay, but at least it didn't really hurt me all that much. Well, it's really hard to actually disable them without triggering them. Anyway, let's let's look around and see if there's more. Mine somewhere around here. Shotgun. Let's get rid of that as well. Okay, I think... I think we're safe now. Tch. Okay, so did this actually hurt me? Like the limbs? Do I have to... Nah, nah, I'm mostly fine. I mean, my head isn't doing so well. Maybe I should actually take a stim pack for the head. Okay, so now that this is done, I guess we can have a look at the terminal over here. Enter password. Apparently, I do have the password. That's great. Reset mainframe connection. Archimedes testing. Upcoming visit. I'm going to assume this is the same that we've read before, so let's use this option over here. 
Connection reset waiting for mainframe. Okay, that's all I have to do, apparently. And yeah, I'm guessing this is uh, just the same. Yep. And that's the reason why the general was here, because he wants to use this uh, method of using mirrors to concentrate sunlight as a weapon in some fashion. All right. Now you can follow Lead me again. the way. I just wanted to make sure that you don't step into any traps here. Okay, um, the next mainframe control device is somewhere over here. I'm also seeing enemies on my map. Uh, not sure where they are. But they are somewhere in this direction. What was that? <laughs> yeah, Edie, Edie has detected the enemies as well. I mean, they might be somewhere in the wasted. No, actually, I think they're inside here. Oh, I see. So we need to kill something. Here we go. Um, Arcade is apparently very eager to get inside here and uh, kill whatever we got here. Oh, it's like dogs. NCR guard dogs. Why are there guard dogs here that I need to kill? That's not nice. Oh, well, I totally shot his head off. Um, so much for that. I would prefer not to kill them. I mean, they're just here doing their job, presumably. But they are hostile, so... What else can I do? I've got another one over here. I mean, it's not really hostile. Oh, now it is, okay. Okay, I suppose... There's really no way around killing these dogs. And I don't think I need any dog meat or whatever. All right, now let's see. Yep, there's another terminal here <laughs> and I'm not seeing any traps. So hopefully um, the dogs were all the security measure in this place. Oh, this one seems to be locked though, but that shouldn't be a problem. Now I can, I can still try to hack it. Again, let's just start with the first one. Shoplifting, two correct. Um, okay, let's see. This has one correct? No, two. The T and the I. Is there any other correct letter? What about the first I? That is one, two, three, four, five, six. And in examination it is on five. So that would not be a match. Yeah, it could be examination. It also has two letters. Okay, now we're at five. Um, so... I'm guessing it's one of these words that end in T-I-O-N. And that's four correct letters. So I need one that has at least one more correct. Um, and it wouldn't be this one. Persecution only has four letters in common. What about observation? Yeah, the final five letters are correct. Let's make sure there's no other uh, shared word. It would fit. There we go. So now I can lock onto this one. Correct password. And yeah, reset mainframe connection. That's what I need to do. All right, here we go. And I don't need to read this stuff again. And now I have to get inside this place again, right? Let's have a quick look at the quest. Optional, arm Archimedes security system to wipe out all nearby Hinsia soldiers. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? 
I mean, sure, if I was working for the Legion, or I'm just disposed towards evil, then I guess I would be uh, doing that. Use the Helios One mainframe to send power to a destination of your choosing. Okay. Oh, well, that's what I want to do. So what would be the quickest way to get back there? Okay, we have apparently a door over here. Let's check it out. Guessing it's this one. I'm also seeing another enemy could be inside here, so let's be careful. Door to solar collection tower. Okay, let's do it. Um, okay, the enemy was not inside, but there's something else inside here. Let's be careful. I mean, it's not hostile. Oh, well, but now something is hostile. Oh, whoa, but the cave is just storming in. What exactly is firing at us? Um, I, I, I'm not seeing anything. Oh, I see there's a robot down here. Okay, I guess that's the security system they've been talking about. Alright, but um, apparently Kate already took care of it, so never mind. Huh, okay. Now let's see. Um, oh, there's another thing over here. Mr. Gutsy. Yeah, we've seen one of these before. So, is that all for the time being? I think it is. Um, yeah, let's look around. We got a door over here. And more mines. Kate, I need you to wait again. Oh, I'll be here. Just don't expect me to fend off a gang of super mutants while you're gone. Well, you did well enough with that uh, security robot over here. So, I see no reason why you shouldn't be able to defend yourself against super mutants. Okay, I finally found the right threshold to disarm it. And... Can I... All right, here we go. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Is that all of them? As a matter of fact, those over here might be mines as well. Yep, they totally are. Okay, okay. Um, let's make sure that there's not more. I'm not seeing any. All right. All right. Now, let's see. Um, what do we got over here? Turret control system. Okay. Okay, I got to hack it, but I mean, if I can disable the turrets that apparently are somewhere around here. That would be useful. So, two of six correct. Um, this one would qualify. The E and the A are correct. And there we go. That was easy enough. Now, let's see. Warning, no targeting data. Deactivate turret system. Yeah, let's first of all deactivate it. <laughs> And let's have a look at the system information. Administrator, Robco Industrial. Okay, that's just all normal. I guess now we can just leave again. Okay, I, I see the various security measures that are in place here. We got some robots, we have mines, we have turrets. Although I'm not sure 
where the turrets are. I mean, there might be somewhere further down this place. So yeah, um, I need you to be very careful. Lead the way. Um, how do I get down here? I think there's like some stairs over here. <laughs> and yes, I, I have my eyes stuck to the ground to make sure that I don't miss any more ter uh, landmines. <laughs> Okay, looking safe so far. And the robot has been reduced to a pile of goo. Alright. What do we got inside here? Oh, I gotta say that I probably can't open. Nope. Pretty sure average is <laughs> too average for me. Is any of that... Useful. Wonder glue, hammer, eyeglasses. I can't interact with this. Insta mesh. It's just some food, but I will take the stim pack. Okay, um, not much to see here, apparently. And all of this is just empty stuff without any use. Okay, um, let's have a quick look at the map. Healy's one observation level. Okay. So, the question is, how do I get there? There doesn't seem to be any way from, from this place. I mean, this is a dead end, right? And all of this is a dead end. But I mean, if it's an observation level, it has to be somewhere upstairs. So, let's check this place over here. Again, lots of machinery that doesn't seem to do anything. Oh. Burned books. Uh, I do take the ammo and... Um, Cigarettes. Programmer's Digest. Okay, I will take that most certainly too. Alright. Now let's move on. Is this the way we need to go? Uh, it's going down. I kind of have to go up. But okay, this is the only way I'm seeing at the moment, so... Yes, we will have a look at it. Ooh, um, yep, that is another robot. Also, Arcade, you're kinda in my way. Don't wanna hit you accidentally. <laughs> Whoa, this is like huge explosion. Okay, sentry bot. Huh. Oh, sorry! Almost shot you. I'm still seeing like enemy on my radar. Are you afraid of me? You should be, because I'm gonna kick your ass when I find you. T t they trash talk me. The sentry bots in this place trash talk me. I don't believe it. it <laughs> and then they go down so quickly. I, I don't even have to do anything. Arcade is completely capable of doing this. This on his own. <laughs> Uh, I don't believe it. Sentry bot with an attitude. Huh? Okay. But yeah, uh, before I move on, um, let's make sure I haven't missed anything over here. That seems to be all kind of useless. Also, I did lose some health. I think it was because of that <laughs> giant explosion. I destroyed the one robot, so I guess a sunset Sasaparilla should help me a little bit. Um, again, this is going down. I need to go to the observation deck, so I'm going to assume I have to go up. This is not the right direction, but it seems to be the only direction I can go at the moment, so let's do it.
Another Mr. Gutsy. Okay, apparently that one was the robot with the attitude. Oh, magazine. I'll take it. Um, okay, there's the staircase over here. Oh! Well, this is a problem. I think... I think the problem is that Edie doesn't fit through these narrow corridors. Uh, Just as a warning, my covert bandaging skills are a little rusty. <laughs> well, if I'm careful enough, you won't have to bandage anything. Yeah, look at that. Edie is totally stuck here. And then... Arcade can't get past Edie because he's stuck behind Edie. <laughs> that is rather unfortunate. I mean, it seems to be happening more than once that Edie just gets stuck somewhere. So, um... What if I tell you to wait here? I mean, if you can't through here, that's a pity, but at least I will be able to take a Kate with me if he's fast enough and makes it through here before he... <laughs> okay, okay, so at least a Kate made it, made it through there. Yeah, sometimes Edie has some problems. Yeah, so for some reason Edie can't make it past that one pipe. Well, maybe he will be able to, like, fast travel to me once I walk into the next area. Anyway, let's have a quick look around here. There are some... Oh, well, there we go. Edie made it after all. A little bit difficult sometimes. Alright. Got another door here. Looking pretty safe so far. Ooh. More robots. More crap. Oh, I'll take this. Scrap electronics. I don't need any of that. And again, all of this is just junk. And this is a dead end. So, let's check out this place. Protectron. But this one is just standing here. And doesn't make any effort to attack me. Okay. Oh, there's more of them. Oh, well, um, they are hostile. At least they are hostile now. is requested. And it's quite a lot of them, too. Oh boy, um... I may have to make use of some stim packs here. Oh, but Arcade came to my help. So that's good. Um, what about... Okay, they already took care of, of this, uh... Put protector on. Okay, this wasn't quite as bad as I feared when suddenly all of them came to life. And that noise is just some background noise from the machinery here, I hope. Um, all right. So, where... Do I have to go here? I'm so confused. I need to go to the observation deck and I am somewhere in the cellar. But it seems to be nearby. <laughs> okay, there's actually a door here. Let's have a look at this. Okay. Locked average. So again, um, won't be able to do that. Some kitchen over here, apparently. 
And there's a fresh apple. How can this apple still be fresh? Yeah, this is quite obviously the local kitchen. Um, okay, but we do have another door over here. Elevator to Healy's one observation level. Okay, there we go. We need to take the elevator. But before I do that, um, let me quickly heal up. I guess I will just uh, take Stimpack for this. So, there we go. Much better. Now, let's go. Okay. Looking safe. Uh, let's have a look around. There's a terminal over here that I probably have to use. Oh, hang on a second. I do want the bottle caps. <laughs> I mean, it's just eight, but <laughs> nevertheless. Mainframe. This mainframe is currently unresponsive. The amount of power reaching the terminal seems to be insufficient. Huh. There's not enough power. So, how do we remedy that? Also, I really should put that gun away because I keep firing it accidentally. Um, what do we got over here? Oh, nothing important. So, how do I get more power to this place? Oh, we have a generator. Well, that might work. Auxiliary generator. The generator looks to be fine, but some kind of large vermin has chewed into the power cable. With the proper know-how and some scrap metal, you could repair the connection and improve its output bandwidth. Otherwise, you will need help. <laughs> repair of 35 or higher and one piece of scrap metal required. I have the repair skill, I don't have the scrap metal. However, I think I've seen quite a few in the robots we just destroyed, so I should be able to just pick one up. Yeah. Um, or do we have some scrap metal just lying around here, maybe? I mean, usually you find scrap metal everywhere, but there's probably none in this specific room, huh? That would be too easy. Uh, I have scrap electronics. I'm not sure if that will help. Let's see. Nope, it needs to be scrap metal. Okay, um, in that case, let me quickly head back to the previous place because, like I said, I believe that the protectrons had lots of scrap metal on them. Yep, there we go. The one time you actually need scrap metal. And of course I don't have it. Okay, now let's try this again. Um, yeah, repair the wire. There we go, scrap metal removed. And it seems that the power has been restored. You fix the wiring, sufficient electricity should now be flowing to the mainframe computer. So, let's have a look at the terminal again. Configure power grid, initial, initial trials, Archimedes testing. Let's have a look at this first. Pending the successful launch of Archimedes 2, we ought to be able to begin field trials with a handheld range finder within a few weeks. Our small scale tests have already proven the viability of sending power as a microwave radiation from the plant to a remote receiver and converting it back into a usable form. All that remains is to extrapolate it to full scale and then prove out the long range communication targeting system on the rangefinder. Okay. Um, but that's not what I came here to do. I need to configure the power grid. Okay, here we go. Now I have to decide how I want to do this. McCarran and Las Vegas Strip. Fremont and Westside Full Region Archimedes 2. Full Region Emergency Output Level. 
What does that mean? I have no idea. So I think the NCR wants me to provide McCarran and Las Vegas Strip. Arcade wants me to send the power to Fremont and West Side. That would be the weapon, right? So I'm pretty sure I don't want to do that. I have no idea what that is, so I'm not going to touch it. Let's just send it to the full region. I mean, seems to be a good compromise. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Insufficient capacity. Brownouts likely. Okay. So everyone has some power now, but it might fluctuate sometimes. But, um... That's all I need to do here. Arm Archimedes plant defense system. I guess that's the option that you need to use if you want to kill all these soldiers in this place. Which I don't want to do, so... I suppose an even distribution is better than nothing. I'm glad that you agree. Oh, approve anyway. Okay, so let's have a look at the quest again. I'm sure there is something else I have to do. Initiate reflector retargeting from the console on the tower observation deck. Okay. So, where exactly would that be? Apparently just straight ahead. But presumably somewhere up here. Ooh. What is this? Huh. I'm guessing it's supposed to be a map of some sorts with some enemy forces or facility and other stuff. Doesn't look like I can actually do anything with it though. Anyway, I am in the right spot. Door to Mojave Wasted. Okay, apparently this is where I go. And it's night. <laughs> Which means the power plant is completely useless at the moment because there's no sunlight that can be concentrated by the mirror. So maybe I should wait a few hours and do this during the day. Otherwise that would be kind of pointless. But you do have a nice view from here. I like this. Um, anyway, where exactly do I have to go anyway? Oh, this is it. Reflector control panel. Yeah, but I think we should do this during the day when it's actually going to work. Then again, it might be kind of dangerous to be on the tower while activating the mirrors. But I'm going to assume that they didn't put this panel in a place where it's actually dangerous so I can activate it and um, I won't get burned to crisp so <laughs> let's wait um, for a few hours all right now this should be possible let's activate okay Quest completed. And I seem to be doing fine here. I mean, there isn't really anything happening. Oh, well, there might be. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, maybe. Maybe I should not have been here, but. Okay, it, it doesn't seem to hurt me. Okay. <laughs> but it does work, so there's that. I'm guessing it's targeting somewhere above me. I mean, this over here might be the place where all the water is stored and that's where the mirrors are aimed at. Okay, okay, uh, we made it. And now I just have to get down here. Um, but I'm outside, so I might be able to just fast travel of this place, right? I mean, it would be a little bit faster than going back through the entire place again. Then again, I might want to have a look around if I missed anything important. So let's just go normally. 
All right, first back to the observation level. Also, what is the stuff over here? It's it's got a brain like the dog. Phyton, this robot has been fitted with a variety of tools specialized for industrial maintenance. However, there's nothing left in the room for it to repair. Okay, some kind of repair bot. I have no idea what that is, but it looks creepy. Um, right, I have to go down and then through the door into the next area, I believe. This is a rather convoluted way to get uh, to the top of the tower. <laughs> Gotta say that. Alright. I mean, all the enemies should be dead and I hope they haven't, like, respawned for some reason. Yeah, I mean, there would be enough scrap metal to go around here. Um, I'm pretty sure this is where I came from. And it looks like I have explored most of this place, so... Hopefully I haven't missed anything too important. Yeah, I have, I have looked at all of this already. So, back up we go and hopefully... ED is not going to get stuck again on this pipe. Um, no, hang on a second. This is wrong. Another Mr. Gutsy. Okay. I think we're still on the right track. And I guess ED got stuck again, but I hope... He will be able to follow me eventually. By the way, what is this door over here? Well, he may have overlooked this door the last time I was here. But usually I would take all the cigarettes. <laughs> okay, ED made it. That's great. And... Yeah, um, that over here should be the exit. Right? Right? <laughs> yeah, I think this is where we came from. Exit! We made it! Okay, here we go! Our power plant is working. I may want to go and talk to the scientists again, <laughs> Mr. Fantastic, and uh, the lieutenant who was in charge of this place. So let's go back inside the main building. I believe there was a door somewhere over here. Yep. So, Hello. let's talk. What can I help you with? I'm just here to tell you that I reactivated the power plant, but I can't, so never mind. Goodbye. Barney, you, you don't really care. What about you? Yo. Again, I can't actually talk to him about this, so... Adios, amigo. <laughs> That's kind of pointless. So let's just go back outside and yeah I haven't been up here yet I believe so maybe this is something that I want to check out before I leave I mean I'm not sure if this actually leads anywhere but I guess it doesn't hurt to have a look um, more machinery Anything of interest in this footlocker? One bottle cap. Well, aren't we glad that we came back here to check this out? And 
Okay, this apparently is just back down again, so there isn't really much of interest here. If the Legion breaks through our defenses, I got one bullet I'm saving just for me. Well, let's hope that the Legion doesn't break through the defenses, because that would be a pity for everyone. Okay, now we're back at the entrance. All right, um, let's talk to the lieutenant again. Maybe she has some comments about my achievements here. What is it? Um, no, I can't, I can't tell him about my Later. success in fixing this place. But I mean, the quest is over. I got my XP, so I guess we will call this mission accomplished. Um, we still have some time left in this episode. So, what do we want to do with that? Um, actually, I may want to quickly travel back to the clinic and get more upgrades because I have enough money for at least two more implants. So, how about we do that? All right, here we are at the clinic. Of course, I should maybe um, think about what skills I actually want to improve. I mean, my agility is kind of poor. Agility affects your guns and sneak skills and the number of action points available for VATs. I mean, this seems useful. I think my intelligence and luck is high enough for the time being. Maybe some agility and some charisma? What does charisma do? Having a high charisma will improve people's disposition towards you and give bonuses to both the barter and speech skills. Strength is a measure of your raw physical power. It affects how much you can carry. <laughs> the power of all melee attacks and your effectiveness with many heavy weapons. Okay, I don't do melee. I don't really do a lot of heavy weapons either. So the only bonus would be carrying capacity. Um, now let's take agility and charisma. Can't go wrong with that, I'm sure. Hey. So, let's talk. You're back. Do you need medical attention? No, I want to improve myself. All right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right. You're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? So, um, can you boost my charisma? The Empathy Synthesizer will allow you to more easily pick up on subtle emotions and body <laughs> language. The price is 4,000 caps. Let's do it! Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Okay. So, I feel more charismatic already. You're back. Do you need medical attention? And let's get one for... All right. Let me do a quick test to make sure your body well. can handle another implant. All right. You're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? I'm pretty sure I can buy at least two more uh, implants after this because I have endurance of like six or seven and I already got two or three. But yeah, let's take the implant to enhance agility. The reflex booster does exactly what it says, speeds up your reaction times. For 4,000 caps, I can attach the implant to your central nervous node. All right. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Uh, let's have a quick look at it. Yep, agility six, charisma seven. I have endurance of seven, and I mean, I did increase my luck and my intelligence. So I think I have four implants at this point, which means I can take three more. So I can still like get more strength and perception as well. And maybe even more additional agility. All right. Thank you, Dr. Usanagi. You are very helpful. <laughs> oh, and suddenly it's night again. That happened quickly. But then again, um, I guess I was in that uh, clinic for a while getting the implants. Okay, so I guess I will end uh, the episode here and 
in the next one, I would like to go back to the Repcon headquarters and do like Edie's quest. Um, like I said, there are some doors in there that require a science of 100, but I have 80 and I have quite a few science magazines that I rarely ever need because usually I don't need that much science. So I think I should be able to open these doors if I use a magazine. But yeah, let's end the episode here as usual. Thank you for watching and see you again next time.